today, let's talk about what to do when you feel like you can't grow on Instagram or TikTok or whatever. So first things first, my name is Becky. I make a lot of videos about enamel pins and small business and like small creative businesses, specifically artists who want to get into product-based businesses and stuff like that. So welcome, uh, hit subscribe if those things sound like fun to you. And uh, yeah, stick around, let's get into it. It can be really, really, really frustrating when you can't grow on social media. Um, it feels like everyone around you is blowing up. It feels like you can't make a sale to save your life. Um, it's, it's just frustrating. So the first thing you can do when you feel like you are stagnating is to concentrate on the audience that you already have. All right, these are the people who have been supporting you. They're the ones who got you to where you are today. They're the ones that are supporting your business and hanging out and spreading the good word of your products to their friends. And you wanna to talk to them. And it's really important to talk to them anyway <laughs> and not just concentrate on getting new people. You know, getting new people in the door means you have to introduce yourself again. You have to start that relationship from scratch. You already have a relationship with the people that are already um, on your social platforms and interacting and engaging with you. So a way you can see what your current audience is interested in is going into your analytics and seeing what is getting the most engagement. This is stuff that people are talking about. You can form community around, you can engage with them, talk to them, get to know them. And a good way to do that is to just, just go check like your last month's worth of uh, posts that uh, have the most engagement and just kind of see what people are talking about. And on that note, while you're in there, also take a peek at website clicks because when you're, you're looking at the website clicks, that's what's converting. These are the posts that are actually getting people over to your site. So if you feel like there is a direct correlation between your amount of followers and your social presence and your sales, you wanna see what posts perform the best. What is it about that post? Is it the composition? Is it the caption? Is it the hook that you use? Is it the conversation you're having in the comments? What is it about those posts that are getting people over to your site? And then you can kind of work on duplicating that in other ways for other products or talk about the same products that people are like super into. And then, yeah, just talk to them. Just get to know your audience, um, reply back to their comments, DM people, you know, say, hey, I see that you've, you know, you've been interacting with my stuff. Thank you for being a customer. You know, just, uh, just kind of get to know them. Uh, don't let it consume your life. Don't feel like you have to be up till midnight every night uh, chatting comments and DMs with people. Don't do that but just be a little more active, be a little more engaged in, in talking to the, to the folks that are already uh, hanging out with you. And that could just be 10 minutes a day of responding to comments. Um, and that doesn't take too much time. So yeah, nurture the ones that are here for you and are already supporting you. Number two, something else you can do to kind of break out of that rut uh, when you feel like you're not growing is try something new. Like if you are in a rut posting the same kind of content, try video, <gasps> try making a reel or like doing a trend, uh, something silly, something that doesn't have a lot of weight to it, something that doesn't feel big and markety, you know, um, do something that's fun. Um, go live, <gasps> talk to your people, find a reason to go live and talk about a product and uh, just kind of get over that that fear because it is scary to go live <laughs> um, but once you start chatting with people and the people who see uh, your little name flashing when you're live those are and who jump in like those are your people so they're they're excited to see you they want to see what you're talking about um, it'll be good and yeah just try new things if your photos are feeling stagnant have a little mini photo shoot one day. Find a good spot with some lighting. Grab a foam board so you can bounce the light and um, and set up a fun little photo shoot for yourself and, and try something new. Get creative. Sometimes just kind of uh, getting your creative juices flowing can make it a little bit more exciting and then your, um, then your audience might uh, respond to it as well. I want you to reset your mindset. So here's the thing. Um, you don't work for Instagram. <laughs> you don't work for TikTok. Uh, 
those we could spend all day trying to figure out all the little nuances of what the algorithm's doing and hacks to get seen and all this kind of stuff but when you're spending that much time trying to figure out what to do on this one platform it's like you're spending too much time on them and not enough time on you and your business and that's not fair i want you to remember that all of these social media platforms they are free tools and they are there to help us okay they by nature these these companies and these apps they want us to stay on their platform so they can show us more ads so they can make more money that's really all they want so i want you to kind of brush off the idea of this big bad algorithm that's coming to get you and think about ways that you can just have fun on the app. You know, I want it. That was one of the reasons that I really liked going onto TikTok. And I haven't been posting there as much lately um, because of life. But uh, it was lighter. It felt lighter. So I've tried to keep that kind of feeling going with Instagram instead. Instagram feels more like a marketing machine, you know but I don't think that's what people want. People want to have fun. People want to know about you. They want to know what you care about, what your values are. They want to connect and, and all that stuff on a deeper level. So I want you to try and reset your mindset a little bit about social media and just remember it's a free tool there for you to use. Have fun with it. Talk to your people, show your products. And at the end of the day, the number of followers you have does not correlate with the amount of money that you make in your business. Okay. <laughs> I know someone with less than 10,000 followers who is a multimillionaire. <laughs> and then there are people that have hundreds. Oh, who was that person who had hundreds of thousands of followers and couldn't even sell like 25 t-shirts, you know, like it does not correlate. So it's all about the audience that you have, and how you treat the platform. And honestly, it's how you treat your email list, your website conversions, stuff that's outside of your website or outside of Instagram. Um, that's what matters. So I don't want you, I really want you to separate the, oh my gosh, this person's blowing up. You don't know what kind of bills they have. You don't know their overhead. So I want you to think about that. It's not just with like personal Instagrams, you know, everyone's showing their highlights, like people are showing their business highlights too. There's so many things that like you don't know about about a business. So when you look at their numbers, it's starting to feel bad. Like, oh, they're doing so much better than me. You don't know that. They have a few more followers maybe, but that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> and number four, this is the big one. I want you to pay attention. You can take a break. You can. You can get off of the app. You can uh, close it out. You can do whatever you need to for your own mental health. For your business, Instagram wants you to be consistent. Personally, when I need to take a break, all I do is set up in, uh, I use later for my posting stuff and I'll take a bunch of pictures, take a day uh, or a few hours, pick some stuff, write some captions, done, and then I don't have to look at it for a few days, and then I can just go away. <laughs> and the business is still going, but I don't have to be bombarded with that um, during the day. Take a break when you need to. Uh, be consistent if you can, but don't feel beholden to the apps. You know, the these apps should not affect our mental health in the way that they do. So just giving you permission to put it down. <laughs> as I make a video that you're watching on a social media channel. <laughs> I hope that was helpful. Um, let me know if any of those things kind of ring true for you, if any of them kind of hit home um, in any sort of way. I know it can be hard when you feel stagnant, but there are things you can do. And uh, there are ways that you can use the app in a way that is healthy for you and good for your business. So if you want more Instagram tips, I have a few other videos. I'll link one here. Um, and then I think I've got another one right here. <laughs> um, and let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Um, yeah, let me know how you feel, feel about videos like this. <laughs> I know it's just kind of talking at you, but um, I think it's important information to have. So I just wanted to have that chat with you today. So. Uh, I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you 
on Instagram. <laughs>